you guys. I'm on the stairs right now. I just wanted to like hide from the boys. Not hide from them, but like, I don't know, kind of block out the noise so I could talk about this for a minute. But, um, I almost just called an ambulance for Lincoln and Like, this may be a little bit dramatic, it may not, but, <sighs> anyways, um, since he, like, started crawling, babies are adventurous, and they do crazy things, and they lose their balance and stuff, but when Lincoln gets tired, he, like, falls a lot, and... <sighs> He's tired tonight, and he fell. He fell on the floor, on the rug, and held his breath. He cried real hard and held his breath and just sat there, and I watched him just turn blue. This is the hardest thing, like, it's hard enough, like, being scared with Jackson. The first time it happened, I took him to urgent care and they said it's not a big deal as long as he acts okay afterwards. And like, he didn't fall from a high like distance and he didn't, he fell from his height. Like that's it. Um, it just breaks my heart. Like he basically, holds his breath and then he turns blue and then he kind of goes like limp. <laughs> and I have to like blow in his face and nothing can bring him out. He just comes back on his own but I was so close, so close to calling an ambulance right now. <laughs> He's fine now. He's just laying on the floor with his bear. But I'm gonna keep him up for a little while because it's just so scary. That's Jackson you're hearing, not Lincoln. Oh, let me know if you guys have ever gone through that. Specifically what happens is he like falls, hurts himself basically, and is in pain from falling, hits his head too hard or something, and holds his breath and turns blue. Like the doctors tell me it happens all the time and kids do it all the time, but it is so heart-wrenching. I just wanted to like, I don't know, just talk about that because I just want this to stop. Like I want the surprises to stop and the fear to stop. I hate it so much. Just never knowing if something's gonna happen or if you're gonna lose your baby. you out, huh? You're so tired. You love your bear, huh? <laughs> That's how you know he's okay. <laughs> Hi, Mister. Oh, 
What? No. <laughs> What's so hard about all of this is that everything started with Jackson a year ago. Actually, he was admitted to the hospital on December 6, 2017, and he was discharged exactly one year ago today, December 9th. So, it's just hard. It's so hard, like, to remain calm and, like, think that everything's just fine. And they say to, like, go, you know, obviously go with your mama instinct. But it's just, can you say hi? Are you so sleepy? This little guy's head's had a hard day today, huh? He's had a hard day, huh? Jackson had a hard day, huh? Yeah. Damn well right, huh? We're gonna go down night soon, or you are anyway. Hopefully. It's just hard to, like, just be fine with it, because it's the most heart-wrenching thing to watch your child, like, do something like that, go through something like that. It's traumatizing for him. Like, he... Very tired today. He, like, plays and plays and plays until he can't anymore. And then he's like, okay, fine, put me to bed right now. Like, I'm done. And he gets mad and he cries and he yells and whatever. So... <coughs> He was just getting a little cranky and whatever. It's just kind of been a hard day with both of them, honestly. But he was getting kind of cranky and he kind of started falling. And I was like, okay, it's time to put him to bed. And then he fell. Um, he fell. He hit his head, I think. I didn't see it happen. I was actually looking the other way. Um, and I just saw him on the ground. And then he sat up and he looked at me. And he's crying real hard. And his lips are turning blue, and then his face is turning blue. It's just, I'm okay now, and I think that's why I'm not, like, crying as I'm telling you guys. But it just, it's just so hard. But this is just really just a real raw moment, and I wanted to talk about it. And I wanted to know, like, if any of you have experienced this or gone through this with your child at all this has been going on with Lincoln basically since like I want to say like May it doesn't happen very often at all but sometimes he does have a hard fall he's just a busy kid he's a boy like I think it's just normal but let me know down below if you've experienced something like this but I think I'm going to end this little clip here. I'm going to try to get it up tonight. Um, who knows? I don't know if it's even going to be, like, long enough to add or, you know, like, make its own video or anything like that. I may add it to something else. But I hope you all, it's not really something to enjoy, but I guess just kind of, like, informative. If your child does go through this, though, like... Obviously, you want to talk to your doctor, but it's just the scariest thing just knowing that his twin, his identical twin, has seizures, so I'm just paranoid, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye!